The former Mr. Universe and Mr. Olympia. He's also a best-selling author and an award-winning actor. He has a new book out called Arnold's Body Shaping for Women. Would you welcome, please, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Good to see you. I've seen you on the show, and I have not been here, and I've seen you on other shows, and we've never met till tonight. That's right. I'm, as a matter of fact, it's wonderful to finally do the show with you. Yeah. Uh, one time I almost did it with you. That's right. I remember that night. Yes. Remember? Yes, and you wanted to uh, oil up your body and well, I didn't take your oil. clothes off. No, no, no. I didn't want to. Wasn't that the one? No, I said, are you gonna, is Arnold going to take off his uh, coat and his shirt? And you uh, were reluctant to do so, right? Yes. Well, that, that's what I showed that night on the air. I said Arnold wouldn't take off his body, so here's I've what I did. I've kept this picture ever since. And we've had this... Oh, I, can I have this autograph? You certainly can. We just took your body, <laughs> and I pasted my head on your body. <laughs> silly! Even, the, silly. even the head looks out of proportion, doesn't it? That doesn't make it. That's and beautiful. you were reluctant to do so. How come? Yeah. Well, I tell you, I, uh, at the time I was promoting this uh, weight training book right. for the general public, and you really have to be very careful when you promote a book like this, uh, how you promote it. Right. And I thought that by promoting it, by taking off my shirt and flexing, would get the wrong uh, message across, because right. I did not want to show people how to get a Mr. Universe for sick, right. but I wanted just to show the average person how to get in shape. Right. So it would have been the wrong thing to do, Don't although I never really was against uh, taking off my clothes. Yeah, I know that. Okay. But you're right. Most people who uh, work out or weight train are not doing what you fellows do because right. you're professional bodybuilders, and yes. that is a sport unto itself, which requires hours and hours, day after day, year after year. Right. It takes a lot of training and a lot of, you know, lifting weights and dieting and discipline and so on. And I think that the general a person out there on the street really isn't interested in that because right. that's really the competitive side of weight training. But I think what everybody is interested in is really being in shape, firming up, being healthy and right. all that, you know. And so that's why I wrote this other book now, which is for women, because I felt that there are so many women out there that are out of shape. And I have done seminars, for instance, for the last four or five years. Is Thank that you. for out of shape that's women or idea. for seminars? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've, I've done seminars for the last four or five years uh, for women, how to get in shape and all that. And I haven't found a woman yet that was happy with her body. And that they all have some complaints. The bust line is too small, or the hips are too big, or this and that. And so I felt that uh, I could be the one to save them. You're going to save them. Yeah, save them. It really make... <laughs> save <laughs> really us all make, somehow. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Would make you them say, more happy. Yeah, that seems to be... Now, I'm not being chauvinistic about this, but women seem to be more conscious of their physical appearance than, oh, than men. Oh, contrary. Well, I knew that was coming. But as you said, they're, they're, no. <laughs> they're either, I'm just two pounds too heavy, or I want to lose right. this, or I'm a little posy. You know, they're very uh, Well, I, I found out that men and women are very conscious of the way they look, and uh, men hide it more than women do. Women complain much more openly about it. Men hide it, and they always say, well, I don't really need that. I think brains are more important than the body. What does it mean? And all those kind of things. But I think men care about it a lot. But the... Uh, uh, men are more physical, and I think because of women's liberation now, which is uh, one of the best things that happened to women, is that women feel that they can go out there and also sweat and train with weights and get in shape and do those things which always were considered that there's something to do for men only, right. and not for women. As a matter of fact, for many years they had those health spas, but it was like this little area for women, you know, like 20% of the whole club was for women and 80% of, was for men right. with great machines and weights and all those things. There was no reason for that, you know, and now it's finally it's evening out and they're really putting things in for women also, which is great yeah. because women ought to be in shape just like men. There's some misconceptions about when women lift weights, though. There's my, I have a little gym in my home and I mm -hmm. said to Joanna, why don't you lift some weights? And she said, I don't want to get muscles. But women, because of their hormone structure, are not going to get the right. bulk and definition that men get anyway, right? That is the most common question I get, yeah, really, they think is, they're get... you know, that women are afraid of getting muscular and so, which they don't, because like uh, Johnny just said, yeah. that uh, women are built differently in a way of that they carry 25% more fat cells than men and 25% right. less muscle cells than men. So there will always be a layer of fat that way. So what you do when you exercise as a woman, you really just firm up the muscles underneath that layer and you will get firm.
sperm and you lose weight in the area. I mean, women can do amazing things. I've seen women lose five, six inches around their thighs within a few months. I've seen them gain uh, four or five inches on the top. I mean, you can really switch the whole thing around within a short period of time. <laughs> it's, it's incredible. It's, almost really, it's really encouraging to see. That's to get fun work to move it around in different places. <laughs> Redistribution of wealth. That's so what to it speak. is. That's working oh, on the I'm underprivileged. I'm so glad to know that. Yeah, yeah you won't uh, get muscles. Well, because I mean, I just turned forty, right? Mm -hmm. And it's you look like, wonderful, by the way. Thank you. Very well, oh, here I am. Maybe I'll keep on talking like that, I will get one of my attacks. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's like, I, everything, I mean, I'm lucky because I can, I, I'm sort of long and tall, so I can be a little overweight and it doesn't show right away. However, there's that moment of truth, you know, when you're alone in the room oh, with your alone. mirror and, you, and yeah. you take off your clothes and you look in the mirror and you say, okay, where is it really at? Right? And what happens to me is that I do have... We don't care where it's at, we'll find it. <laughs> That's a punchline to a very old joke. It's a punchline to a very old joke, and I just wanted to go down memory lane for a second. We're going to take a break on that, and we'll be right back. I'll tell you the joke later.